Hi, this is my review of the Saturday of London Expo, so that's the second day. So the convention start, started at 9, but I think I got in the queue at about 7.30ish. And uh, pretty much uh, the thing was that we're all looking forward to getting the goodie bags, because the day before we didn't get any because it was Friday. So the goodie bags were only meant for the weekdays. And I have to say, like, Hyper Japan, I did all the reviews on the goodie bags and what we got inside them. I'm not going to do that again because really, it wasn't really a lot to talk about. Uh, normally, if you know you go to Expo, you normally get a big goodie bag full of DVDs, you know, normally t shirts and posters. Uh, this year, they did good on the DVDs, but everything else, we really didn't get anything else except for DVDs in there. Um, they had some terrible uh, straight to DVD dance movies or something and I think on Sunday uh, someone's collecting up all the DVDs and making a pile of them. So pretty much I think everyone got one of those. Um, there was a few, I think there was a martial arts movie people got, I got as well. But I think they're selling that on the magazine for about two pounds. So. Uh, also Breeze of course were handing out some of their old single volume series. Uh, they got two volumes of Gundam C that I like. Two of C, uh, Two volumes of Scryde, uh, I think a volume of Witch Hunter Robin as well. So that's okay, I'm slowly collecting those series as Expo seem to go past. So I got all those. So pretty much Expo opened and I was dressed cosplaying as Colonel Sanders, the KFC mascot. I'm sure a lot of you must have seen me uh, running around because I was quite popular. There was a lot of people taking pictures. <laughs> And I had to do quite a lot of uh, running around, uh, taking people's pictures. And I already found a load on the internet. So uh, thank you for everyone who stopped me. I'm always happy to stop the photo. Just said uh, thank you for all your support or the Colonel Sanders. So what did I do on the first day? Uh, I said play some games. Uh, I managed to play Donkey Kong Country Returns and uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Uh, I was really impressed with both of those games. Uh, Donkey Kong Countries, I loved that series. and I mean, that was back in the day when they were good. And uh, I said, I really have kind of missed that series. So to see it come back like how it was and the Wii, with, on the Wii, and actually all the stuff that had been added for the Wii really did feel good. And it felt like it was a step up. It wasn't just some 3D remake of an old 2D game. It actually did feel like this was finally Donkey Kong Country. I mean, Donkey Kong 64 was good, but it didn't really feel like a Donkey Kong Country. And as I said, ever since Rare has lost the Donkey Kong license, he's just been making games about dr drum beats. And... So, to see this game being made is quite exciting. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, I never really played the first two. I'm more of a Blast Blue man myself, uh, or normal Street Fighters games. But, I really enjoyed it. It felt really, really nice and simple to play. Uh, I, I mean, within one thing, thing you're playing it, I was already summoning characters, doing specials. It, it felt really nice. It didn't feel. It felt like you could pick up, pick it up, and play it quite easy. So I, I really enjoyed that, and I'll probably pick it up when it comes out in uh, in a few months' time. It's a definitely exciting, uh, exciting prospect, prospect there. Uh, what else really did I do? Saturday. So uh, of course I was running around at Colonel Sanders and I took part in uh, Blast Blue, Blaze Blue, I always forget now, uh, record attempt that was uh, I think the second best player in the country was trying to see how many people he could beat in an hour. And I was number 12 but I think they put someone in front of us so I ended up being number 13. And yes, I did get my backside handed to me. But I did manage to hit him a few times. Uh, so a few people didn't manage to hit him once. So I actually think I did quite okay compared to what other people were doing. Because of course there was a lot of people in the queue going, yeah, I can beat this guy, he's not that hard. And just got their ass absolutely wrong. So I was kind of sitting there going, yeah, I'm going to lose. But if I hit him a few times, I'm gonna, uh, that's going to make me happy. And uh, I'll say, uh, for signing up, you've got a, a load of towel uh, bottle caps out of it. I'll show you in the last video along with the other stuff that I got that I'll talk about more about Plus Blue in my next uh, Sunday review because I had a lot more to do. I was cosplaying as Jin on the Sunday, so there was a lot more to do with that. Um, otherwise, I saw a load of people I hadn't seen for a while, caught up chat, 
up to chat. Uh, saw everyone. It says, and on the Saturday night, uh, I went to Eurocosbay, the big European com cosplay competition. Uh, previous times, I queued up for the masquerade and end up getting put in a really stupid place. Whilst people who come in late get no, get put right at the front. They said they never really been able to sort out the masquerade sitting, and after the last times. Uh, it was so annoying that I decided just to walk in at the last minute. And uh, so pretty much it kind of backfired on me. It kind of didn't. The fact was, I was well, when I was first put in, I was having to stand at the back. But then all of a sudden it was a bit, they all said, Ah, oh, if you're standing at the back, please come down and fill in the single seats. So in the end, I actually ended up getting a seat right in the middle. Right, right in the middle. About four rows back, right behind the judges, and I think uh, all the staff that work in there. So I probably got one of the best seats in the whole house. Um, Euro cosplay. Uh, they said, I know, I know the two people who've been organising it, and I know how hard they both worked. And to see, to see it happen, and to see it happen well, and to see it all go, or pretty much everything go according to plan. It was really, it was for them especially. It was really nice to see all come together. They, I know how hard they worked and how much of a risk this could have been. I know how much money has been behind it. And I said uh, to James and Joe, he said, you did such a good job organising this event. It was absolutely amazing. Uh, all the cosplayers were really good, uh, especially the guy who won who was from Portugal. I was really impressed with his performance. It was absolutely amazing. He sort of come. He sort. They thought put this big thing up, uh, paper thing out. He sort of smashed through with his sword, and it was oh, it was something unbelievable. And I said, uh, they think I've made a load of hints that there would be a 2011 edition. And I think after the success of the 2010 edition, I definitely think we'll be seeing it. So it was an absolutely amazing show. I actually uh, managed to talk to the, one of the Irish entries after the show had finished. Uh, the guy who was the big brown thing. Uh, yeah, he was really kind. I think we ended up talking to him about 20, for about me and my sister talked to him about 20 minutes. He was saying how nice the, uh, it was all backstage. It was a wonderful tournament thing to be part of. And we were saying that he should be quite proud. He said, I really wish I could have been part of that tournament. And he said, uh, to see uh, Team Giblets at the end uh, doing their number four performance as a fellow skit maker it was quite cool. Because I wasn't expecting to see him. Even I'd seen him earlier in the day. <laughs> it was quite nice to see. Uh, to see. Uh, bring stuff like that. And they said. In 2011. Granny if you're watching. Uh, James. You do, yeah I would be willing to make a video skip for you. If Team Giblets weren't able to do it. <laughs> but I'm sure. <laughs> um, yeah so. It was an absolutely amazing show. Um, it said, if you didn't go this year. Please. If it's happening next year, make sure you get to it. And if your own country, it's a real bit. If you can qualify for it, it's a real big honour. So definitely a total brilliant idea of London Expo to have Euro cosplay. And it was also nice to see uh, England cut or Great Britain coming third. Uh, it, it felt nice the fact that we could feel happy. Poland came second. I think it was yeah. Poland came second. Portugal what? Well, the Polish entry came second and. Portugal came first, but said I think I think the decision. I have seen some people complain about it on the internet, but that's for a shout for you. And I, I, I honestly God do think those decisions were right. And I said well done to all everyone who's entered. You did a really good job. Um, next video I will be reviewing Sunday because actually I think in the end to me most things happened on the Sunday. <laughs> Because Saturday was so busy, and especially being Colonel Sanders and always having to take pictures of people. I mean, I could actually do a lot more on Sunday, but you'll see what I got up to on Sunday when I talk about it next in my next video. So anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, I always do reviews of UK events or anime events, uh, not just London Expo, all everything that happens. So please, enjoy it. Said join my said subscribe and please enjoy my videos and don't complain too much. Okay. Bye, I'll see you all in my next video.